the historic Columbia Canal water treatment plant has been here 110 years at this site and um, we've got a rated capacity of around 85 million gallons a day. We average in the low 30 million gallon a day range and we'll peak out at times in the mid 50s. We're a conventional treatment plant, alum coagulation, open rectangular settling basins, conventional dual media filters. We serve water to about 375,000 customers in the Midlands of South Carolina. Well, we treat water off of the Broad River through a diversion canal. The Broad River, as anybody in the state of South Carolina knows, it, it fluctuates like crazy. And we're watching coagulated water pH, we're watching stream and current. And we're also running the laboratory charge analyzer and jar test. And, and that combination is helping us optimize our coagulant dose. We had actually purchased the Chemtrack LCA to help us quickly respond to rapidly changing water conditions. When we invest in our equipment, we rely on that equipment to help us run the plant more efficiently and to make sure that we stay within the, the ranges we need to be in. We had a historic flooding event. It was associated with a tropical depression. Roughly 24 inches of rainfall within 48 hours. We were impacted greatly with the rains and flooding. We've seen higher turbidities, but we had never seen TOCs at those levels. Our TOCs tripled, if not quadrupled. The organics were what were the real challenge during the flood, and uh, that exerted an extremely high coagulant demand, and um, one that was really difficult for us to, to get a handle on initially. We went to chemical treatment rates that we had never seen before. Charge analyzer said 115, and I think we wound up fine-tuning it down to 110 on, on our alum dosage. Normal conditions were about 25 parts per million on alum, no caustic. I think our previous high was like 65 parts per million alum. We're thinking we're high, we're high. We're higher than we've, we've ever been before as far as our charge test and it's still not working. And the charge analyzer was telling us exactly where we needed to be. Our water quality was changing so rapidly. That's where the laboratory charge analyzer was a huge help to us. As soon as we got the coagulant dose up, we satisfied the coagulant demand in the water, the plant turned around, plant chemistry turned around, and we started making really good water under unbelievably challenging, for us, source water conditions. We continued to produce quality water throughout the event due to the tools and technology that we do use. The lab charge analyzer got us to where we needed to be faster than, than we would have with older methods. It's proved itself to be a reliable tool for our process. We were very pleased with that investment that we made. It proved to be a very useful tool, something that we use every day, but also during uh, rapidly changing water conditions was invaluable to us to respond, to get back on our feet during, during uh, emergency flooding uh, during October of 2015.